I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all my subscribers and viewers for sharing their views and excellent questions. I have modified this question a bit, made it general. So we have a diagram of a isosceles trough whose cross section is like that of a trapezoid. Now we are taking dimensions as shown here. A is the smaller side. Length is capital L. Angles formed are theta at the base with the vertical. Now the question is, given diagram of an isosceles trough, now that is the original question, let A equals to 1, L equals to 10. Then show that the volume is 10 cos theta times 1 plus sine theta. Okay, so if A equals to 1, length equals to 10, in that case the volume is given as shown here. And then we need to find maximum volume of the trough. What I will do here is basically derive general expression, right? So we'll derive a general expression. And then we'll substitute the value of A as 1, length as 10, to get the volume formula. So what is the area of a trapezoid? Let me write trapezoid as shown in the diagram. So it is some of these two sides, let's say this side is B, right? So it is A plus B, some of these two sides, divide by 2 times height. Let's say H is height between the two, right? So that is height. So that becomes the area of a trapezoid. And of course, volume will be length times this area. So we'll first find an expression for area, multiply by length to get the volume expression. Okay. Now in this diagram, you can see that A is smaller side, theta is the angle. So B is, that is also A from the diagram, right? We have to add these two, which are equal. So let me call these sides as, let me just uh, call them as, uh, let's say, P, right? So each is P for us. Okay. So in this case, P is opposite to theta. Hypotenuse is A. So we know P is equals to A sine theta, right? So P equals to A sine theta. Similarly, H we could write as A cos theta. Correct? So always adjacent side is cosine, opposite side is sine. So we know P and H. Now we can substitute these values here and find what the area is. B will now be equals to A plus twice P. So these two, perfect. So we get area of the trapezoid. Let me just make this diagram it's easy. A plus B means a is this side A plus B now is A plus 2P. So we are writing A plus twice and P is as shown here A sine theta, right? So that's what we'll write here. So P is A sine theta. Perfect. H is A cos theta. So we'll write this A cos theta divide by 2. So let's divide this by 2, right half here. Perfect. Now I could write this as, within the bracket, I can take this A outside. Right? So I could say A over 2. So I get 1 plus 1 plus 2 sine theta times A cos theta. Now A and A becomes A square when you multiply them, divide by 2. 1 plus 1 is again 2. 2 plus 2 sine theta. Is it okay? And we have cos theta. I can take 2 common. So if I take 2 common, I get 2a square over 2. 1 plus sine theta times cos theta. 
Now 2 and 2 will cancel. And so we get an expression for the area of this, which is a square. Let me write cos theta first times 1 plus sin theta, right? So this is the area of cross section, is that okay? So that's the area of cross section. What is volume? Volume equals to area times area of cross section times length. So the volume V is equal to this area of cross section which is A square cos theta 1 plus sine theta times this length L. Perfect. So we get a general formula. Let me write that. A square L cos theta times 1 plus sine theta where theta is this angle. Okay. So let us highlight this formula. And now we are going to substitute the values of A and L to get the result which we need. We are looking for the volume when A is 1, L is 10. So we'll substitute A as equals to 1, L equals to 10. So we get volume equals to 1 square is 1, L is 10. So we get 10 cos theta 1 plus sin theta. Perfect. So that becomes the required expression when A is unit and L is 10 times A. Is that correct? Now we got the first part which is which is the volume. We'll see how to maximize the volume of this trough. So let's move on. We'll copy the formula for volume and see how to maximize it. So what we just derived was a general expression of volume V equals to A square times L cos theta times 1 plus sine theta, right? Now here, A and L are constants. We'll put A equals to 1 and we'll put L equals to 10 at the end, right? Now to find the maximum volume, what should we do? We'll de find the derivative with reference to theta, right? So let us differentiate with respect to theta. So we're getting into calculus now. Okay, so we'll differentiate both sides with respect to theta. So we get dv d theta equals to, these two are constants. So we get a square l as such. Let me put them outside the bracket. We'll apply the product rule. Derivative of cos is minus sine theta. So we get minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. Plus sine cos theta times 1 plus sine theta derivative, which is, let me write here, cos theta times derivative of sine theta is cos theta. Is that okay? So we differentiated both sides, applied the product rule, correct? So we applied product rule. To differentiate. So derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta and derivative of one plus sine theta is cos theta. So that step I hope is clear. You can review derivatives, I'll provide a link for that. So what we get here is a square L now, we can open this bracket, so we get minus sine theta, minus sine square theta, plus cos square theta, right? Now, since uh, we have uh, cos square theta and sine square theta, it's a good idea to write cos square theta in terms of sine. So, we could write this as a square L minus sine theta, minus sine square theta and cos square theta could be written as 1 minus sine square theta. 
Combining the terms, we get minus 2 sine square theta minus sine theta plus 1. Now that's a quadratic equation. Let's take minus common. So we get minus a square l. And here we get 2 sine square theta plus sine theta minus 1. Is it okay? Now we could always factor this. So factoring we get 2 sine square theta. Let me do it in two steps. We will split sine theta as 2 sine theta minus sine theta minus 1 and then we have minus a square l. We can take 2 sine theta common here. We get sine theta plus 1. Taking minus common, we get sine theta plus 1. Let's move on to the right side. So we can write dv d theta as negative a square L. We can take sine theta plus 1 common. We're left with 2 sine theta minus 1. Right? So, so that is the expression. Now, for maximum or rather critical number, dv d theta should be 0, right? So we get 0 equals to minus a square l sine theta plus 1 times 2 sine theta minus 1. Now that gives you a critical number at sine theta equals to minus 1 and this gives you sine theta equals to 1 over 2, right? Now, in this particular example, you can see that the angle theta can be what? It could be 0 or it could be 90 degrees, right? So what we see here is that the theta is between 90 degrees, you can say pi by 2 or 0 degrees, correct? So you could use pi by 2, whatever is good for you, right? and zero in radius, right? So those are the extreme values for this. So you could now solve this using extreme values to figure out which gives you the maximum value, right? So here, for minus one, that is not applicable, right? So, because that is theta equals to pi, right? So uh, three pi by two. Let me sketch the sine curve. So sine curve is kind of like this. Right, so minus 1 is 3 pi by 2, that is not feasible, and sine theta is half for let's do a special triangle here. So, in this special triangle, you know, sine theta is half when theta is pi by 3, so that gives you theta equals to uh, this is pi by 6. Correct, okay. so. So that gives you theta equals to pi by 6 as your critical number. Now if you substitute the value of uh, theta in your expression, which is v equals to a square l cos theta 1 plus sine theta, you can find the maximum value. Is it okay? So sine theta is pi by 2. Let me just sketch the triangle here. Where the angle theta we're talking about is this angle. So this is half and square root of 3. So here we know sine theta is half and cos theta is square root 3 over 2, right? And theta is pi by 6. So this actually gives you the maximum value since if you substitute 3 pi by 2, which is one of the critical numbers, not really acceptable, you could substitute 0 or pi by 2. In that case, you can find an expression 
which will show you that pi by 6 is maximum. You could also analyze this uh, by, let's say, pi by 6. Let's do it. So if I take pi by 6 here, and if I take a test point on the left side and on the right side of pi by 6, let us take 0 on the left side and uh, let's say pi by 2 on the right side, okay, the two limits. In that case, here, if you look at derivative dv d theta, that means, let me write v dash. So the derivative for 0, sine theta is 0, right? And this is 0. So you, when you multiply these, in that case, we get minus times this minus as positive. So we get positive value of the derivative. Now, when I write pi by 2, then sine pi by 2 is 1. So we get 1 here. And 2 minus 1 is again 1. So it's positive. And this value makes it negative, correct? So it is negative at this point. So which gives you a maximum at pi by 6. Is that clear? Correct? So at pi by 6, we do have a maximum. Now let's find the value of volume when A is 1, L is 10. And now we will place theta as pi by 6. Correct? So we get the volume V as equal to 1 square times times 10 times cos of pi by 6 times 1 plus sine of pi by 6. Is that okay? So that gives you the maximum volume for the required values of A and L. Now cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2. Sine pi by 6 is half. Let's sub substitute these values. So we get 10 times cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2 times 1 plus sine pi by 6 is half, right? So that gives you the value as, so we can just take this as 1 and a half, which is 3 by 2. So this is, this gives you 5. So we get a value here, which is 5 square root 3 times 3 by 2. Correct? So that becomes the volume. So we can write down our answer that maximum volume V is equal to 5 times 3 as 15 over 2 square root 3 cubic units. Is that clear to you, right? So, so that is how you could actually find the maximum volume for this trough, which has a cross section of a trapezoid, when A is 1, L is 10. Okay, so I hope that helps. So I hope the explanation is clear. So we are able to find the general expression. And from the general expression, which was volume equals to A square L cos theta times 1 plus sine theta, we can find the first derivative. Analyzing the critical number of the first derivative, which was pi by 6 for us, we found that pi by 6 is a maximum. Substituting the value of pi by 6 in the volume expression, plus a equals to 1, l equals to 10 as a special case, as requested by my subscriber, we found that the volume will be 15 divided by 2 square root 3 cubic units. So I hope the steps are clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.